Right now, I'm going to observe and compare the strength of these two different kinds of ice. One of them has something embedded in it, which makes it different from the other. By the way, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel and you enjoy videos like this, make sure to click the notification bell button and subscribe so you can stay updated on my future videos. As you can see, there are some cracks in the ice. I may have over frozen it for 24 hours. We all know when water freezes, it expands, which can cause these fractures. Now, let's move on to the experiment. Now, I'm going to use a hammer to apply force to each ice block and see if it breaks or not. But first, Take a look at the texture of each ice block. Now, I want you to guess which one you think will break more easily. So, have you made your guess? If yes, let's find out. Is it this one? Ouch! Ouch! Or is it this one? Ouch! 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 As you can see, this one is much harder to break compared to the first ice block. Let me cut. It's quite strong. The reason why the second ice block is harder to play is because it has cotton embedded in it. When cotton is frozen within a block of ice, something interesting happens. The cotton fibers actually provide structural support, making the ice block more resistant to breaking apart. Again, when water freezes, it expands and creates pressure on its surroundings. But with the cotton distributed throughout the ice, it acts like reinforcement, absorbing some of the stress and preventing easy breakage. Remember, cotton fibers are flexible and can absorb and distribute forces well. This means they help spread out the stress caused by the expanding ice instead of allowing it to concentrate in one area. As a result, the ice block becomes more stable and less prone to breaking. Remember, even though this ice block has cotton embedded in it, it still has its limitations. Extreme forces and multiple attempts can still cause it to break. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you again in my next video. Hope you all liked it.